Speaker, Vice President, uh, Minister, uh, on the contrary, I was an enthusiast. Uh, in fact, for me, uh, this was one of the top priorities with which I went uh, uh, to the European Parliament, and I still remember uh, Vice President Timmermans, our meeting in November uh, of 2014, where we exchanged views, and, and I can understand what you say today, that uh, you had higher ambitions. So did I. I think that many of us, but also the reality is that many of us had lower ambitions. So what uh, we stand today in front of is a compromise, a compromise which you call half uh, full glass, maybe a bit more than half full, I would say, but I think it's a good agreement, and I think that we can make it a full glass with implementation. I had the privilege to work closely with our negotiator, Guy Verhofstadt. I wouldn't say that what I'm going to say now if he were president, but I think that uh, likewise his colleagues, uh, partners, he did a very good job. And I think that we have an agreement that we can implement today, and we can implement so that the glass, as I say, is full. One example, for example, uh, one example, for example, <laughs> I could, I could uh, delete a bit of burden of, of that sentence, but uh, uh, very briefly, uh, the administrative burden survey. I mean, this is exactly what is a chance for us. If the Commission will have the ability and the courage to show who proposes what, what happens in each sector, and how member states behave, well, what is the difference between the proposal that has been submitted and the legislation enacted, and what is, in fact, the act that was passed through the parliaments, the gold plating? I think that for me, this is a satisfaction in comparison to what I was seeking for, and that was one in, one out. I think that that is the tool with which we can deliver. Thank you, and it is up to us how we're going to implement this agreement.